Welcome to Digital Asset News, taking top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, interesting stuff. First up, Vitalik Buterin admits that an ETH 2.0 is much harder to implement than he initially expected. And uh, the statement that he has goes a little bit deeper than just that, so that's kind of just scratching the surface. Also, developers release a fix for Ethereum 2.0. And if you don't know, it actually crashed this weekend. So, hey, what are you going to do? Can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Also, new Link Marine Dave Portney states that Link is going to the moon. And this was a it was a pretty long video that I watched. It was uh, Dave Portney and the Winklevoss twins, and they pretty much convinced this guy to buy $250,000 worth of Bitcoin and Chainlink. And this guy is all in. And finally, I'm going to expand on an article we covered uh, this Sunday, which was yesterday. So we'll go over Warren Buffett and his investments into gold mining. But before I do all that, let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So today is August 17th, Monday. About 12 o'clock Texas time, and it looks like Bitcoin is doing pretty hot. 4% up. Man, I thought today that Bitcoin might actually hit 13,000 because it was fluctuating that high. So I think I think it hit like 12.4, so not too shabby. I like that. Ethereum, 437. Again, I thought Ethereum was going to hit like 475, uh, but it just kind of came down back down. But it's still up 1.4, 12.2% over the last seven days. XRP, watch out. Everybody asked me, not everybody, but some people asked me, hey, Rob, do you actually say XRP watch out every time for XRP? And why do you say that? Well, this is why I say it. It's because I invested heavily into XRP uh, when it was pretty much at, at its all-time high. And like I talked about, I uh, did not know about dollar cost averaging back then. I just bought when it was like super high. And we're talking above $2. So people are always, so, so somebody asked me, they said, well, why don't you just dump XRP and then get into something else and then go, you know, just go that route. Uh, it's because there's two reasons. First of all, I'm stubborn. And second of all, I'm not in the business to lose money. And right now, uh, I will lose if I sell. I know there's gonna be different things, different theories out there, that's fine. But here's the thing. I've already lost 90% of my position on XRP. I'm just gonna be honest with you. So if I lose it and it goes all the way down, 10% isn't gonna kill me. I could care less. So right now, I am just holding, sticking to my guns and going, you know what, I'm gonna write it out. I just, I'm just so stubborn. And that's just how it is. So when I say XRP watch out, it's uh, there's a little bit of love hate uh, in that relationship, and I know some people say, hey, you shouldn't talk bad about XRP. Why not? Why why shouldn't I? I mean, it's I mean, look, it had nothing but good news, and it does nothing. The price doesn't change. It is essentially a stable coin to me. So again, if it goes all the way down, I could care less, and uh, that's why I say XRP watch out. Tether's tether. I say tether's tether because tether is tether. It's not going to fluctuate. Chainlink is a little under 19, but I like that. Uh, Chainlink is one of my one of my holds. Really happy with that one. 36% up. Bitcoin Cash, eh, sure. 5.7, good for Bitcoin Cash holders. Cardano up three, uh, still hovering around 14 cents, uh, but uh, hasn't gone down, hasn't gone up. And then really, ooh, Litecoin up 7%. Fantastic for you, Litecoin holders. Uh, pretty good. Tron up again, 10%, 47.5% for the week. Congratulations, Tron holders. Uh, you guys are doing a fantastic job there. And uh, not too much. Ave, the DeFi platform for, uh, for uh, token there, 6.3%. NEM, 7.3%. Sure, whatever. And that's about it. Um, so that's all I got. Let's jump into today's articles.